At some point in the life of an older person, they may have to undergo surgery on an elective or even emergency basis. They, their family, their primary care physician and surgeon together will evaluate their overall health and weigh the pros and cons of going through with the operation. We need to know if there are any factors that would compromise the success of the operation. For example, does the patient have diabetes? Does he have high blood pressure, heart disease, kidney disease, or any other coexisting medical factors? What medications are they taking? If there is any doubt about the health of the patient and a successful outcome going into the operation, the primary care doctor and the surgeon might suggest delaying surgery until the patient is in more optimal health. Getting a second opinion means that another surgeon will review your surgical plan. It is a common practice and one that can actually help the patient and family feel confident that they are making the correct decision. Dementia is not a contraindication for surgery, but patients who have dementia are at increased risk for post-operative complications, including confusion, prolonged hospitalization and intensive care, pneumonia, and even bed sores. Anesthesia is not administered differently in older persons. We closely monitor the patient's heart and vital signs during the operation and manage their pain postoperatively using appropriate medications for their age. It is possible that the length of stay for an older surgical patient will be longer than for a younger patient. For example, a person over the age of 80 undergoing a colon operation may stay in the hospital two to three days longer than a younger patient. This is not necessarily the case for everyone, but it is something to consider. Most importantly, frail older patients may need extra help postoperatively to get back to their pre-hospital strength. These patients benefit greatly from a short stay in a rehab facility. Postoperative rehabilitation is important to consider and we set the process in motion before surgery to ensure a smoother transition of care after surgery. The immune system ages as we age, so older patients are generally at increased risk for infection. Most common infections, however, are not at the surgical site or at the skin, but are the result of immobility after surgery. The most common examples of infection after surgery are pneumonias and urinary tract infections. Postoperatively, we encourage patients to move around as much as physically possible to avoid some of these common complications. Surgery causes the body stress and this increases the calories burned. So the best thing to do before an operation is to maintain a high calorie diet, continue moderate exercise to keep the muscles strong so the patient can get out of bed and walk and have a positive attitude. Of course, if you smoke, you should stop. If you stop smoking even a week before surgery, it will make a huge difference postoperatively. Drinking alcohol should also be stopped. As our knowledge of the effects of surgery on the aged patient has advanced over the years, being cared for by a physician with an understanding and specific focus on the aging patient is really an optimal situation. We understand the physiology of aging and the effect aging has on all systems of the body. We realize that the older patient may have different long-term goals, the patient may respond to surgery differently, and very likely will have a variety of existing medical conditions at the time of surgery. Suburban Hospital is one of only 300 hospitals in the country to be designated 
by a national organization as a hospital uniquely qualified to care for older patients. For example, I am a specialist in geriatric surgery and we have nurses at Suburban Hospital who are also trained to care for the special needs of our older patients. The role of the family in the preoperative and postoperative planning for the older surgical patient cannot be overstated. To maximize a successful surgery and recovery, a family member or loved one needs to be involved in every step of the way. At Suburban Hospital, doctors, nurses, and social workers consider the family to be an integral part of the healthcare team. All are there to ensure complete recovery and a safe return home.